Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video actually has nothing to do with perfumes. This is going to be a very chill, laid back, get to know me Q&A kind of a video. So I've actually put up a couple posts on my community tab just asking you guys, for you to ask me <laughs> questions. I obviously know that most of you are here because you like my perfume videos, but when I personally watch somebody that I like, I like to kind of get to know them on like a personal level. So that's what this video is about. I'm not expecting a ton of people to watch this video just because I know that not a lot of people care, which is fine, but I'm making it for those of you that really like are viewers of my channel, which I appreciate so, so much. I feel like the larger that I'm kind of growing, I'm not saying that I'm large by any means because I'm not at all, but but I feel like the more subscribers I'm gaining, I do kind of want to make these videos a little bit more often because I don't want to just be like somebody that's like, this perfume is nice, this perfume is nice, and then that's it. I kind of like want to make this channel a little bit more, I guess, personal. I actually made a post on my community tab. When, when did I make this? Three months ago. I think three months ago when I made this post, probably had like around a thousand subscribers at that time. So I didn't get that many questions, but I will also answer those questions. But now we're at like 6,600 something, which is insane because I actually made a post one week ago telling you guys that I hit 5k subscribers and that I wanted to do like a QA. and a And now we're at like 6,600, which is insane. So we're we're growing really fast and I'm so, so thankful. So that's why I kind of wanted to answer some questions that you guys might have. So I'm going to try to answer like as many as I can. So the first question is, are you a morning or a night type of person? I would love to think that I'm a morning person. Like I would love to be a morning person. And sometimes I like to say that I am, but I'm not. I'm more of a night person. And by night person, I don't mean that like I like to stay up late and all of that because I don't. Staying up late for me makes me feel horrible. So I don't mean night person like in that aspect. I just mean like in the mornings, I cannot function. I'm so hazy. I kind of am grumpy most mornings. And it just takes a lot for me to like really, really wake up out of that like groggy, sleepy state that I'm in. So I would definitely say I'm more of a night person. I generally just love the nighttime more. But I love the morning time too. I can see that this video is going to go very well. <laughs> okay, next question is what's your ethnicity? I've mentioned this a couple times on my channel, but I am Albanian. I was born, actually I was born in Greece, which is kind of confusing. The reason why I do mention Greece a lot on my channel as well is because I'm not like from Greece, but I have family and I've grown up like pretty much since I was little in Greece. When I used to live in Albania, we would kind of like go back and forth, you know, to see my family over there. It was like a trip that we made a lot. So Greece became like literally our second home. And so when I think about home, I don't just think of Albania. I think about both Greece and Albania as my home because I just love both. And they both give me like that nostalgic, like home feeling. But I am Albanian, I'm not Greek. Okay, next question is what's your zodiac sign? Do you have any unpopular opinions? My zodiac sign, it's funny because somebody answered her and said that she is Aries. Yes, I'm an Aries. That's my zodiac sign. I love astrology. Like, I just love to read up on it. I think it's so interesting. I know that a lot of people think that it's BS. I personally don't. And I feel like I've confirmed that the more that I've gotten into it because I'll meet people and I'll find out what sign they are and I'm like, wow, that makes so much sense to like who they are. And obviously astrology is not just like your sun sign that everybody knows. It's a lot deeper than that if you actually kind of get to know it. And then as far as the unpopular opinions, I have a lot of unpopular opinions, I feel like, but literally none come to mind right now. Like, I would have to like sit here and really think about that answered oh i have one i don't like beyonce so yeah i don't have anything against her i just feel like she's very overhyped so i feel like that's an unpopular opinion because i know that people are obsessed with her but i have a lot of unpopular opinions i don't agree with a lot of things <laughs> that people say and i'm a very opinionated person so yeah but that's the only one that comes to mind right now okay next question is tell us a weird fact or unusual story about you i feel like when i'm like on the spot being asked these questions i literally cannot think for the life of me but i mean i guess a weird fact or unusual story um i've gotten stitches in like so many places when i was a little i was very like crazy just very active and just a crazy little child i'm like literally the most clumsiest person to exist on this earth i have yet to meet a person that is as clumsy as me but i've gotten stitches like i said at the back of my foot because i stepped on glass i've gotten stitches like right here because i like 
hit like my couch or i have like a huge scar right here i have a little cross right here which you guys can't see in my videos because you have to kind of look at me in real life to see it but i actually got that when i was a baby because me and my dad were like playing and i guess what he was doing was like funny to me and i was like laughing super hard and all of a sudden the chandelier we had like a little chandelier and it fell on the both of us and it fell on me like right here and, and it cut me that could have been obviously a lot worse because i was a baby so my face was a lot smaller and for that whole thing which was, it was like all glass to have just fallen on like this little spot of my face was crazy i've gotten staples in the back of my head because when i was in albania when i was in school we had like lunchtime and one of my teachers like left the classroom so there was like nobody watching us and for some reason my friends and i like went um on top of a desk like we all stood up on the desk and this kid pushed me i don't think he did it on purpose at least i hope not but he pushed me and i fell like and the desks were high so i like fell like this and i fell straight on the back of my head and that could have also been a lot worse than it ended up being and i literally like i went like this and my hand was like covered in and i was literally leaving a trail of blood so yeah <laughs> i've had a lot of near-death experiences let's just say that so i hope that that answered your question next question is how old are you and what's your favorite food um i get this question so much how old am i because i know that i probably look and i come across as being like probably like 16 i have literally had people at my work come up to me and be like oh my god are you old enough to work i can't even tell you the amount of times that i have gotten that question is like are you old enough to be working here and then i tell them how old i am and they're like no way some people have asked to see my id because nobody believes how old i am i'm 22 years old i personally feel like i look like i'm 22 years old especially when i have makeup on um when i don't have makeup on that's a different story but i'm 22 years old and people always get so freaked out when i say that because they're like oh my god you look like you're 16 or 18 people also get freaked out when i say that i'm engaged because they're like oh my god like you're 12 like what but no i'm 22 years old i just look like i'm 16 which i mean i see it as a blessing my entire family looks so young like my dad is almost 50 and he could literally pass for like a 25 year old and then same thing with my mom like i think it's just genetics and then as far as my favorite food my favorite food is chipotle burrito every time i go into chipotle i get the exact same order and i swear i have chipotle like at least once a week but i have a lot of like traditional like albanian and also greek food i love mediterranean food that's my favorite kind of food to exist in this world next question is where do you see yourself in five years introvert or extrovert favorite aspect of where you live um where do i see myself in five years i definitely see myself married by them I'm, I'm actually gonna be married next year so i will be married by then in five years i would love to have kids I feel like if i could choose when i could have kids it would be around like the age of 25 which is like three years from now i don't want to have kids when i'm near my 30s and i obviously don't want kids like right right now at this point in my life because i'm just getting started with like making something out of my life also with just the state of the world right now i just feel like i do not want to bring a kid into the world that like in the state that it's in right now and i'm just hoping that in three years that hopefully it's better but yeah kids married a good career like a stable career stable income and all of that obviously that's very important but honestly more than anything i just want to be happy in five years just be happy and clear-minded i'm a very extremely anxious person i've thought for a long time to make like a an anxiety kind of video like talking about anxiety and all that because i know a lot of people suffer with it and you know but i know that those are like very touchy subjects but if you guys want to see like a video on anxiety you know my story and all of that um let me know and then she asked if i'm introverted or extroverted i'm definitely introverted i yeah i'm not an extrovert at all like at all I, people drain my energy i do like being around people don't get me wrong and when i am around people i have a good time generally and i feel like when i'm around people especially people that i'm comfortable with you might think that I am extroverted because I'm like, I'm not afraid to speak. I'm not shy. I used to be very shy, but not anymore. The introverted aspect of me comes just because I like to, I don't know, I like my alone time. I like being by myself. Um, being alone kind of like recharges me, but that's not to say that I don't love spending time with 
people. I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm introverted mostly, I would say, but I also like my extroverted moments. I'm just not the type of person to go out of my way to go and like talk to somebody, you know? That's not me. And favorite aspect of where I live, I've mentioned this before, but I live in Florida. I'm not gonna say like where the city like that I'm in specifically, because obviously we're on the internet, but the favorite aspect of where I live it's kind of like a blessing and a curse, but it's the fact that it's always hot. It's nice because, you know, winters are not fun. And I'm, I'm somebody, especially now that I've lived here for so long, I cannot tolerate the cold, like, at all. And so even when it gets cold, like, even a little bit cold here, I really feel it. And that's when I miss. I'm like, oh my god, thank god I live in a hot place because I cannot handle, like, snow. But at the same time, like, waking up Christmas morning, it's like, bright and sunny and it's, like, literally a hundred degrees outside it just doesn't make any sense so i don't know there's a blessing and a curse to that but it's mostly a positive thing than it is about okay next up are you in school or do you have a job um and what is your plans wishes for for the future i was in school i was in college for about two and a half years and i stopped i kind of like dropped out technically just last year not last year yeah last year right at the start of the pandemic because I was doing something that I really, really didn't love and I was kind of jumping like from one major. I think I changed my major like three times. I did art at first. I'm a very like creative person. I'm not like analytical. I think very like creatively. I don't like numbers and all of that. But when I was in college, I didn't really know like what to do specifically. And so I was kind of like jumping from major to major. I did art for like a semester and then i changed to um accounting which i absolutely hated i changed to marketing after that i kind of wanted to do something in the business world you can get a job out of that and that's honestly like the main reason why i did it it's not because i had a real love for it like at all i hate numbers i hate i hate that like so much and i just found myself just being drained like i was like why am i even doing this and i just hated it and then once the pandemic kind of hit i just lost all motivation so i just kind of stopped showing up and for a while i didn't really do anything with school i'm i'm still not in school i don't want to say i'm never gonna go to school um because i do have a couple things in my mind but i kind of like where i'm at right now and then as far as work i did get this question a lot like are you working I also was working. I actually quit my job just two months ago and I kind of took a little bit of a risky move to do like YouTube full time, especially because when I quit, I wasn't exactly thriving on YouTube. You know, I only had like a thousand subscribers, but I was very, very miserable in my job. I don't, I'm not going to say like where I worked, but I was very miserable. Yeah, I don't really want to get into it because I don't know if I don't know if people from there are gonna watch this video so I don't want to say the reason why I left and why I was miserable I'm not really gonna get into that because that's just like personal I just left and I kind of just was like you know what I'm gonna take this time to kind of focus full-time and I'm very privileged to say that and I'm very happy and grateful because I had the support of like my family I had the support of my fiance and they were all like hey like we'll support you in this time until you kind of get get going get things rolling with youtube and stuff like that and now i'm very happy to say that i'm kind of in a place where i'm i'm good and i'm pretty much making as much if not more than i was making in any job that i've been at before and i'm not really going to explain beyond that but um i've wanted to do youtube for a very 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 long time that's not something that i'm just like saying now or i just like thought up in the last year i have done youtube i have had like three channels in the past i've been a lover of youtube and been wanting to do youtube like seriously for literally like 10 years no exaggeration and i finally started it up and i'm loving it like i absolutely love it and the time when I quit my job, which was just a couple months ago, that's when I started to really post regularly and you guys were noticing it too. And ever since then, it's just kind of been only up from there. And I hope that this, you know, goes only up from here is what I'm trying to say. So I hope that that answered your question. I feel like this video is going to be a million years long. So I don't know if I'm going to answer every single one of these questions in this video because I'm kind of just going off tangents um what are your plans and wishes for the future i kind of already answered that what is your favorite food i answered that 
Is there anything else that you feel passionate about than perfume? I have a lot of things. I have a lot of hobbies, like a ton of hobbies. I love to draw. I'll insert some pictures of my drawings here. Like that's one of my favorite hobbies. Like that kind of just relieves my anxiety. I love drawing. I love makeup. I kind of fell off of doing makeup because I started to just get so heavily into perfume. But I do have a real passion for makeup as well. And for a good while there, I wanted to be a makeup artist. But then perfumes kind of just came into my life and I was like, oh my god, like this, this is what I love. Which qualities do you value the most in other people slash your friends? I value people being trustworthy, being honest, loyal, I guess those are all in the same category. Funny, somebody that is always kind of there for me. I'm, a, as I keep mentioning in this video, I'm a very anxious person and sometimes I'm not the great at communicating or sometimes, you know, I might not be cold but i might kind of like stop talking to people not because i have anything against them but just because i'm like going through things in my head and so i love to have people that like you know i don't need to talk to somebody 24 7 for them to know that i'm like their friend you know what i mean and i'm really happy to say that i do have those kinds of friendships in my life like i have a very small circle of people that i call friends like very very small like i could count on my on one hand my like true friends i guess the main thing would just be somebody that i feel comfortable around okay what do you like to do for fun any other interests or hobbies aside from fragrance i kind of already answered that i would say like drawing watching movies things that just kind of get me out of my head what do you do for a job or is this your full-time gig how did you get interested in fragrances i mentioned it before i'm not gonna say again where i worked but at the moment this is my full-time gig job and how did i get interested in fragrances i it was just something that kind of happened organically but i've mentioned this before i fragrances is, have been always something that i've loved i've loved to smell good like for ever since i can remember ever since i was a kid and my mom had a bunch of perfumes like my mom my cousins and everything like that i've always loved perfumes but within the last couple years is when i really really started to get heavily into it and now it's something that i like can't live without but there wasn't like a specific thing that i think got me into fragrance it just kind of organically happened like since i was younger to now it's just kind of gotten more obsessive okay what got you interested in fragrances i already mentioned that favorite men's fragrances i have a couple that i love that my fiance wears one million is my absolute favorite perfume of all time i know that it's a generic perfume it's so like i guess overdone a lot of people wear it but oh my god there is no perfume that i love more than that perfume one million by paco rabanne also why so it's over in a drawer like across my room so i'm not gonna get up to get it but i will put a picture right here that's another one that smells incredible and also recently i smelled one that my dad actually gave me he had a little sample from it was like a louis vuitton again i don't remember the name but i will put up a picture right here and that smelled absolutely incredible as well so those would be just like some but i'm not too familiar with male fragrances like how i am with women's fragrances because i don't wear them the few ones that i love are because my fiance wears them or i know them because my brother wears them or my dad things like that any special memories associated with a particular fragrance yes like so many of them alien just reminds me of like my childhood growing up my cousins always had it alien and angel i don't own angel i recently bought angel muse which i will include in a video um but angel in general even though i don't love it like on me it brings back so many memories because my cousins used to own both alien and angel a lot of the perfumes that i own i also take with me like on vacations so when i get back it kind of reminds me of that time so there's a few of perfumes in my collection that kind of brings me to those kinds of times in my life all right so those were the questions from that first post and now i'm gonna get into the second post that i recently posted so the first question is what is your job and are you russian um what is my job as I, I already answered that and am i russian no a lot of people think i'm russian and i get that a lot because my name is russian i think the name xenia is originated in russia if i'm not mistaken i've actually met a couple xenias that were russian and um i think they spell it a little bit differently though than i spell it where my parents got it from or actually my aunt because my aunt named me she got it because it was like a greek name and was it was very popular in greece 
so yes but no i'm not russian what's your starbucks drink honestly i'm not a huge fan of starbucks like i'm not like crazy for starbucks but if i'm gonna get starbucks i always get the exact same thing and i get this order because i saw a tiktok once and it's absolutely the most delicious thing in the world i'm not like a coffee drinker i rarely drink coffee coffee makes me jittery it gives me horrible anxiety it gives me panic attacks i stay away from it so when i do get coffee most of the time it's decaf or it's coffee that is literally like a dessert. It's like you can barely even taste the coffee because it's so sweet. I don't like bitter coffee. I like more like sweet coffee drinks. But my order is always the same and it's iced white chocolate mocha with sweet cream, cold foam, and caramel drizzle. And I get that like every single time and it's absolutely delicious. Uh, somebody asked, where's the video of you and your fiance? I promised you guys the my fiance rating my perfumes video like such a long time ago, but the video is finally up. It's my previous video. I will link it up here if you wanna go and check it out. But yes, I know that it took a long time to do it, but it is finally up for you guys to go see. So definitely go check it out. I got a lot of love on that video. So thank you for all of the love. And we had so much fun filming that video. So definitely check that one out. Uh, favorite TV shows? I have a few. I I love Bates Motel. Oh my god, I cannot get over Bates Motel. Like, psychological thrillers are probably, like, one of my favorite genres. I love New Girl, which is, like, comedy, because obviously it's just, like, a feel-good show. I have watched The Vampire Diaries, which I do really like. It's, like, more of, like, a nostalgic show, I feel like. I recently watched Outer Banks. That was pretty good, but, like, I feel like Bates Motel and New Girl are, like, my top two. Like, that I could re-watch, like, over and over again. Also, you, and I'm very, very excited for the new season of you. Like, season three is coming out, I think, in October, and I'm very excited. Um, how long did you move to the U.S.? I can't hear an accent when you're speaking, so I wonder if you moved when you were a kid. You are right. Um, I moved to the U.S. when I was nine years old. I'm 22 right now, so... I've been here for a while and the reason why i think i never really developed an accent some people say that they can hear an accent when i speak i don't hear it like i honestly wish i had an accent but i don't think that i do um and that's i think just because i moved here when i was like young very young and typically for kids it's a lot easier to learn a language um, than it is for an adult. I feel like the older you move here the more of an accent you have and i honestly wish i had an accent but I don't. Uh, do you have any pets or are you an animal person? I do have. I have a little doggy. Her name is Candy. She's the love of my life. And she's actually sleeping right over there right now as I speak. Actually, let me see if I can turn the camera over so you guys can see. Yep, there she is. <laughs> I had candy for about eight years she's about to turn eight in november so yeah but she is amazing she's literally the best dog in the absolute world and am i an animal person yes definitely i absolutely love animals hi just wondering are you still using white on your wedding day i mentioned in a video that that um kenneth cole white was going to be my um wedding scent and as of right now yes i still i still think i will be using this for my wedding day sucks. will you do a men's must-have collection video someday what do you consider to be the top 10 in men's fragrances um i definitely want to make this video and i think i'll probably have my fiance join me just like to kind of speak about some really good men's fragrances so that is probably like a future video that will come out what perfume do you think you will wear to your wedding day i just answered that as of right now i'm thinking it will be white by kenneth cole because it's a beautiful perfume i have included and talked about it in previous videos uh, did you intend on your youtube channel mainly being about fragrance or did it just happen definitely not when i started my youtube channel i actually started because i wanted to be a makeup guru beauty guru um because i love like when i first started my youtube channel i loved perfume but my my love for makeup was huge like i was buying makeup left and right my makeup collection is enormous like it's huge i have so much makeup and i can't even tell you the last time i bought makeup because all i do now is buy perfumes and i absolutely love perfumes i still love makeup it's just like I, I'm good with how much I have. I don't think I need any more. And I will be definitely kind of trying to sprinkle in a few makeup videos throughout my channel. Um, but mostly, I do love fragrances now. Like, I think... And, and I know that you guys do because as soon as I switched over to the fragrances, I saw that there was a lot more people interested in fragrances than there was um, makeup. And now I love it. So, I don't really see myself ever going back to just being like a makeup channel. Because I love fragrance and I, I just, I cannot 
not talk about perfumes is your mother or father into scents like we are um no <laughs> they are not they like perfumes but they're like normal people that have like two perfumes and especially my mom well actually both my mom and my dad have like their signature like couple fragrances that like when you smell those fragrances that's like you think of them whereas i like I wear a perfume based off of like my mood. If you could only wear one fragrance for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my God, that's literally the hardest question in the entire world. I feel like if I could pick one, it would probably be Alien because I'm obsessed with this perfume. I think it just, it's like a potion in a bottle. It's delicious, but I love all of my perfumes. So that question is like, impossible to answer um that's just like one of my absolute favorites what are your three favorite fall scents i will be doing a video on like fall perfumes i actually have a fall perfumes video um that i did last year but i will um i do plan on doing like an updated top fall perfumes video um, how did you get started with your perfume collection i kind of already mentioned that it just kind of happened organically the more i got into it the more i was buying them and if you go to places like marshall's ross tj maxx burlington you could get them for cheap what perfumes remind you of when you were a teenager as i already said alien and um angel um because they just like literally remind me of like growing up of going to greece of visiting my cousins hanging out with them going out things like that it's just those two are like my top two that just bring back the most memories how have your perfume tastes changed since you started youtube they've actually changed a lot um I feel like in the beginning of my YouTube channel, I loved like strictly just sweet scents and that's all I would buy. And now I kind of buy everything. Like I used to be so against florals and now I have so many florals in my collection that I love. I used to not be a fan of fresh scents and I have a bunch of fresh scents that I love as well. But it just depends on the fragrance. I feel like as I've gotten more into perfumes, I can't really just say that I like like a specific category and i don't like a whole other category because even though you may not like a fresh scent when you smell like a specific fresh scent it might have other qualities that you like in it so it makes it really good even though it's a fresh scent if that makes any sense it's like it just depends on the fragrance all right so that is all the questions that i'm going to ask in this video as i said going forward i will try to do these videos i think i'm going to try to do them like once a month just to kind of like update you guys or answer more of your questions if you have them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one